my name's Peter. I'm one of Bangor's international officers. And my job is really to help any international students uh, really have a smooth period when they're applying to study at Bangor University, answer any questions they have, you know, really do everything that's needed. Um, so there's no, no limit to what I can do to help people. So as Maggie said, I'm, I'm up in North Wales. I'm at uh, Trecho, which is yeah, it's the Welsh name for Red Wolf Bay. And unfortunately, it was meant to be really nice weather, but I've come down here and it's literally windy. And so I've got the umbrella up, but it's not always wet in Wales. I can promise you that. But I think it's important to say it does rain. It's still the UK, but yeah. we still have a wonderful time regardless of the weather. Bangor is located in North Wales. And if you're not familiar with Wales, or the United Kingdom, I always say to people, if you, everyone knows where Dublin is in Ireland. So if you draw a line from Dublin, pretty much the first point of the UK that you reach is, is where Bangor is. So that's where Bangor is in the amazing North Wales, as you will see with all the footage we've got of the, the mountains and the sea. Um, and it's a really nice small city. It's, it's technically a city. It has a cathedral, so I'm okay saying that. But there's about 16,000 people um, outside of term time. And then when the university is in session, we usually double the population of the city. And while it might seem quite small, it's actually really good as an international student because it means you can get to know the city really easy and really quickly. So in no time at all, you feel at home. So you've got this lovely historic old city with everything you need. You literally don't need to go to any other city to get anything. You can get it all there. But then you've got the amazing sea, mountains, you name it around you. That thing about the city, I didn't know until I lived here. That's a UK thing. If you're, if you're where you live has a cathedral, you're a city. Um, that yeah. that is the, de the delineation, and and the cathedral in Bangor. You know, if you want to geek out about history for a bit, lovely. Something has been on that site since 400 AD, and most of that building is 16th century. It's it's really small, but it's really beautiful. It's just so easy to live in and to get around, and it's not like a lot of cities in the UK where you're a 30 minute bus ride from the place you need to go or campus. Yeah, everything's 20 minutes walk maximum, and and 20 minutes is literally from where you live to the beach. So it's kind of like everything you need is in that nice little bubble. So you're not having to spend out more money on bus journeys to your campus or bus journeys to the supermarket or a taxi here or a taxi there. So it's, it's kind of one of the hidden costs that you, you find in a lot of other places, which we just don't have. I don't think I've yet to find anywhere that is kind of got this stunning location, safety, affordability, but so easy to get to within three hours yeah you you're, you've got to Euston station in london and normally it's a direct train um and it's it's usually quite cheap cheap i think it's about 30 to 40 pounds of tickets as a, a single so it means if you want to jump on the train and go to central london then you can do it it's affordable and it it means that you can go and get that sort of sense of london you know go see as i think you did numerous times west end shows and uh, have a bit of shopping on oxford street but then you can come back to normality and tranquility which is what i like can you tell me a bit about student life on campus um where would the students live what's life like outside of, of their excellent classes things like that Sure. So Bangor is the cheapest university city in the UK and the accommodation we've got is really, really good, good value and really high quality. So the accommodation, we've got two sites. We've got the thrift site and St. Mary's, both really new. Um, every room is your room. It's, you don't have to share it with anyone else. So you're not going to find yourself arriving with roommates. Um, and at the moment, every single room is, is en suite too. So that means you have your own toilet and shower. And realistically as a price point you're, you're probably looking at about 130 to 140 pounds obviously it changes depending on the year um, that's per week and yeah yeah, yeah per, per week we've got fantastic sort of student restaurants and, and sort of cafe bars on site we've got welfare support as well so you've got 24 7 warden and mentor support and, and that basically means that if you're feeling a bit homesick or even if you just want a cup of tea with someone because because let's face it sometimes we all just need to sit down and have a chat because we all have rough days sometimes you've got that facility there so you've got someone that you, you can go knock on their door and say hey any chance of just grabbing a quick coffee so you've got that good solid support there and obviously you've got university security but Let's face it, Bangor's pretty safe, so yeah, 
they're there if you need them, but hopefully you, you never do. Yeah, exactly. Can you tell me a bit about some programs at Bangor that you want to highlight? I know it's super popular for Americans in a couple of areas, but are there ones that you just want to make sure we're aware of? We're really famous for our ocean sciences, natural sciences, and you know, just take a look at Google Maps and you'll see exactly why. I mean, we've got the natural area, we've got the ocean all around us. It's just, it's perfect. And, and obviously as a student, being able to get out there and, and do field trips in a day rather than having to take a long coach somewhere it's just it's just great but other schools that are really good are psychology um and a, a quite a cool thing about bangers we're the only university in the uk that has a mri scanner just for psychology research so as an undergrad student you actually get to take part in the research and, and have a picture of your brain taken which is really unfair because i want to do that um so it's it's cool that you've got access to all this this really hot research expertise because again for psychologists yeah they want to live in an amazing place too it's not just the the natural scientists um and then other subjects that are really popular for americans are history and again yeah no no surprises for guessing why we have three unesco world heritage site castles literally 30 minutes in each direction so being able to have a lecture in bomaris castle about history i mean how you can't get much cool than that and then creative studies and creative writing. Yeah, I think you had a lot of experience with that with, with your, your time at Bangor, with, with your films. Um, and that's really, really popular with, with North American students. For me, it was all practice led. So it was very much about um, filmmaking and, and getting out there and, and making sure that these things happen in your hands and you figured out the skills, not just studied it. So it really does walk that line between practical and educational academic. I'm Dr. Christian Dunn. I'm a senior lecturer in the School of Natural Sciences at Bangor University in beautiful North Wales. Um, I teach on biology and zoology mainly, um, but I'm also a researcher in wetland science and also microplastics too, um, which the university um, does a lot of research in. As well as that, another of my roles is to be involved in recruitment um, because Bangor University has students from obviously all over the UK and all over the world too, and including America. Our school, the School of Natural Sciences, is one of the biggest um, in the university. Um, so in total, so all years, post, um, post grads and all that kind of stuff, it's to over 700 students. But an intake every year is around about 200 or 300. Class sizes vary massively. So the first year when you first come in, you could be in a class of two or 300. But then the next session that you'll have will be a tutorial where there'll just be you and six other students and one member of academic staff. Um, so the, the actual class sizes vary enormously. First year generally tend to be a bit bigger. And then as kind of you get more specialist during the kind of the second year and the third year, the class sizes do tend to get smaller, uh, depending on which degree that you're doing. because we offer such a massive range of degrees. Um, so it, it does depend on what class, you, what subject you're doing and which year that you're in. We have a fantastic way of settling our students in. We have uh, peer guides. So these are current students, second and third and fourth year students who give up their time voluntarily to help um students settle in so as soon as you get to Bangor, um i think they even meet you from the airport so as soon as you kind of get to Bangor, they will kind of show you the ropes of living in Bangor and north wales and how amazing it is um and uh, all the kind of the tips and the tricks of living there but then they'll also kind of get you to meet the rest of your cohort as well um, and we also offer different um uh, kind of uh, events during that kind of first few days as well where we get you out to some of the field sites which you might be visiting and just kind of showing you around the area which is breathtaking. What do you think is like a real draw to bring international students, American students or British students, I mean any student to our campus, what is it that makes our program unique? What we've got that other universities don't have is the additional teaching facilities like the research farm the botanic gardens and um, we've also got um, the uk's only um, ocean or seagoing research vessel the prince maddock um, we've got you know we've got aviaries we've got aquariums we've got so many additional teaching facilities which we're not precious about as well we get our students out there we know we use them for research we're all the academics of, uh, in the school of natural sciences are research active so we are always you know we're writing the papers which you know other universities are teaching so we're all research active but we get our students involved um for example uh, recently a, a year ago so ago i did some research on, on microplastics and it was the first time this type of work had been done anywhere in the world we looked at kind of microplastics in freshwater systems um we found disturbingly microplastics everywhere we looked but at the time 
you know, everywhere. Now we're kind of used to that kind of knowing that microplastics are everywhere. But at the time, it was novel. No one had done it before. But that project was led by students, by research students. I had undergraduates, so BSc, third year students. I had um, uh, four uh, MSc, so masters by research students doing it. And they did the research, you know. They were the ones that were doing the analysis. They were doing going out and collecting the samples. So we really get our students massively involved in topical novel research at Bangor too. Uh, and we have students that go into so many different careers. And again, I think that's one of the good things about doing um, one of our degrees at zoology, biology, or conservation. It because it gives you such a broad range of skills. You get the numerical skills, the statistical skills, you get the written skills, it, you get the oral skills as well, because a lot of um, you know, presentations you have to give. Um, the whole range of employable skills um, you will get, as well as the expertise. So if you want to then go and often do research in herpetology or whatever it may be, you've got that. But you've also got this broad range of skills we have geography, uh, we have conservation, environmental studies, biology, biology of biotechnology, uh, wildlife um, conservation. Um, and then obviously the biggest recruiter for us is uh, our zoology degrees. Um, and these we do, you do, can do pure zoology, but we also offer a range of specialisms in zoology. And these are proven really popular with our students and also um, kind of employers afterwards. So we do things like zoology with herpetology, zoology with primatology, zoology with ornithology, zoology with climate change studies, zoology with animal behavior, zoology with marine zoology. Um, so this whole range, and I'll probably miss some out because we do so many of them. Um, but the important thing to remember, which I always urge all our students to kind of to remember, is that if you come to Bangor to study our zoology degrees, don't worry about which zoology you come to do. Because in the first year, all our zoology degrees are pretty much the same. And the reason we do this is two reasons. The first reason is that we think that everyone that comes to Bangor uh, to do zoology has to have a core set of skills, which any zoologist, any natural scientist needs. So in the first year, we teach you that. And then it's in the second and the third year that you begin to specialize in whatever it is that you're interested in. But the other second reason we do this is to help you, the student, really, because what, what it means is that towards the end of your first year, you can then switch zoology degrees. So if you've come to Bangor because you think, oh, I love, I love ornithology, so I'm going to come to do zoology with, uh, with ornithology. And then during that first year, when you're starting to meet the lecturers, you're starting to do your reading, you're starting to do your assessments, you're starting just to get involved with Bangor life, you join some of the societies, you're getting out doing some work experience. All of a sudden you go, actually, it's zoology with animal behavior that really kind of floats my boat. Well, that's fine. Towards the end of the first year, you just switch from zoology with ornithology to zoology with animal behavior, and it's no problem at all. This has been fantastic. Thank you so much, Christian. It, it just gives you a further insight as to what the opportunities are, and I hope uh, some of the things that these students could accomplish at Bangor University. Any questions at all, please fire them over. Always happy to have a chat. So we have a really, really good international student support team here. And that's run by Masao, Alan and Louise. And every university in Wales has a, a team just as fantastic as they are. And literally they work really closely with the international officers. So for example, with visas, any visa questions I get, I will refer over to our international student support team and they will help you with every single bit of visa issues you might possibly have. So you get that international support before you even get here. But then when you get here, you get people that literally they're here to help and they're here on campus yeah every working day of the week and you can make an appointment to go and see them and you can ask them anything so there's this thing called international welcome week which all international students are able to part partake in and it's really nice because they do things like take you to Bomaris castle they have a kaylee they have dinners and stuff like that so it's just it just makes a difference and having been an international student myself and i know yeah you must have the same experience maggie just getting somewhere and feeling that you are wanted and you are supported makes a huge difference to how quickly you settle in. Well, that was fantastic. Thank you so much, Peter, for everything that you've done for this. Um, we've certainly learned a lot about Bangor and about the opportunities for studying in Wales. Um, and we'll certainly make sure that everybody has uh, the ability to reach out to you if they have any questions. Like we said, these are our USA champions. They are not here to make your life difficult. They are here to support you as the applicant or your student or an advisor 
to make sure that your student has the best opportunity to get into that university. So definitely reach out to these guys.